Hi friends, welcome to my channel Industrial Cat Tutorials. Want to watch my videos? Subscribe my channel. Have to subscribe my channel to click on the subscribe button. Want to give suggestions about my videos? For more information through mails, by simply click on show more. In this video, I am going to explain introduction to pressure vessels. Pressure vessels are the Containers for fluids under high pressure. The pressure vessels are so many types. There are variety of industries you like petroleum refining, chemical, power, food, and pharma. Already know the types of pressure vessels. There are three main types of pressure vessels: horizontal pressure vessel, vertical, and spherical. How oh, there is some special type of vessels like refrigeration towers, reactors, but these names are given according to their requirement of the client or the requirement of use only as per the ASME standards horizontal this is the example of the horizontal pressure vessel the uh, dishes are there and the nozzles and the saddle supports are there on the uh, side view and the front view is one of the example and next vertical this is the vertical pressure vessel the magnitude length to diameter ratio from vertical drum is 5 is to 1 these are the same like the horizontal but the position is in vertical this is the head the top head and bottom head nothing but a dish and the supports legs are this is called as saddles are used on horizontal on vertical use the legs construction a wider range of shell diameter and height this is the one of the distillation columns this mm, distillation columns are so long the diameter is very less but the distillation columns uh, are very large to flow the material from one place to another place in a long distance internal trays are needed for flow distribution that I am saying figure shows a typical reactor vessel with a cylindrical shell this is the cylindrical shell for filtration purpose like this materials are using this is the vertical reactor it has so many parts nodules and the flanges and top dish and bottom dish and the cylindrical shell to construct the so many parts are there for the any of the pressure vessel this is the spherical pressure vessel storage vessel it is uh, look like a globe the support lug is there and the shell it is a hemispherical dishes two dishes are well to the to form a one of the like a globe follow the main components of pressure vessels in general main components shell is the main component one of the component is shell first one and head and the nozzle the nozzle has also flanges and the one, next one is support it is the what is shell it is the primary component that contains the pressure the pressure vessel shells in the form of different plates are welded together to form a structure that has a common rotational axis shell are either cylindrical spherical or in conical shape already know shell horizontal drums have cylindrical shell cells and construct in a wide range of a diameter and length the shell sections of tall tower may be constructed of different materials thickness and diameter is due to process and phase change of process fluid shell of spherical pressure vessel is spherical as well this is the spherical the horizontal vertical type pressure vessels are there what is means by head all the pressure vessels must be closed at the end by heads ends are nothing but the toroidal heads ellipsoidal heads hemispherical heads the dish heads are typically curved rather than flat these are intermediate heads are separate sections of pressure vessel to permit different design calculations a nozzle is a cylindrical component what is nozzle penetrates into the shell head of the pressure vessel head is nothing but on dish it penetrates the nozzle they are used for the following applications attach piping for flow into out of the vessel attach instrument connection level gauges thermo wells pressure gauges provide access to the vessel internet at manway provide direct attachment of the other equipment items example heat exchangers either right? these nozzles are used nozzles are the very important object support is used to bear load of pressure vessel at work and wind loads the, there are different types of topo supports which are used depend upon the size these are the saddle supports types of supports one of sa saddle support is used for the horizontal drums are typically supported two locations by saddle support one saddle support is anchored whereas the other is free this is the leg support the leg support points small vertical drums are typically supported on legs they are welded to the lower portion of the shell 
ratio of support leg length to drum diameter is 2 is to 1 cross bracing between the legs is used to absorb wind or earthquake loads the number of legs depends on the drum size and the loads to be carried this is the leg support saddle support is over and leg support this is the lug support the most of the lug support you are using in reactors of the high pressure vessels the vertical pressure vessels may also be supported by legs these are have four lugs also moderate height to diameter ratios in the race the lugs are typically bolted to the horizontal structure number the ho even though the horizontal structure is there they bolted to the lugs the holes are to be created on the lugs any fluctuations not happen and the lugs are the very strongest to support the equipments skid support tall vertical cylinder preservers are typically support by skids these are the, all the parts are on the pressure vessel to withstand of the high pressure any of the high pressure is giving the supports are will help the pressure vessel tank thin wall pressure vessels thin wall refers to a vessel having inner radius to wall thickness radius of 10 or more radius by thickness is greater than or equal to 10 only when the vessel wall is thin the stress distribution through its thickness will not vary significantly and so we'll assume that is uniform or constant in both cases the pressure vessel in the wheel considered to be a gauge pressure since the measure above atmospheric pressure existing at the inside and outside stress a thin wall these are the, all the points the above analysis indicates that the element of the material for thin wall vessels however the radial stress components are ignored because radius by thickness is equal to 10 results into stress thin wall pressure vessel the stress is gives more it will withstand with the pressure also the pressure will so much of stress onto the wall thickness walls then it may corrosion of resistance corrosion is high with respect to the material what type of material used in the vessel it must be empathized the formula derivative thin wall should be used on the case of internal pressure the internal pressure is very high if the design of external pressure in the case of vacuum tank and stress this is the introduction topic of pressure vessels i hope you like this video thanks for watching my video do like share comment and subscribe do you want more videos please click on subscribe button